it's Kylie Vinzagera and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a sit down video in forever, as well as I haven't done a makeup video in forever, or at least it feels like it, maybe I have, I don't know. But um, I am here today and I'm very excited because I'm going to be giving a first look at the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. So it's just gonna kind of be a look at his brand. I don't have any of his lipsticks or his skin frost. I'm looking into getting some of those as well. If I do, I will hop back on here and test them out for y'all, but I'm really excited about it. Also, I love the box that it came in. It has his cute like little sticker logo, as you can see that. And as you can see, I haven't opened it yet. It's been killing me, but I'm gonna open it for y'all now. So here we have Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Androgyny Palette. This is just the box though. I'm pretty sure the actual palette is pink. Ooh. Okay, first off, I love the packaging. It's pretty big, but it's really thin. It has this like, let me see if you can see this. It has like a textured skin, like snake skin or leather or crocodile or any, something of that nature. And then the lettering is gold. Here we have the inside of the palette. So it looks like, just from you know, the sheen, there are two shining shades of shimmer, shadows, frosting, and deja vu, and then the rest seem to be matte, and it comes with a mirror along the top. That is a beautiful mirror. It's a very nice quality. I'm going to swatch all of the shades for y'all just here reviewing them, and then I'll have, I'll film also an actual nice swatch on my hand with like lighting and stuff, but this is just going to be for like my seeing purposes. Okay, the first shade we're going in with here is Frosting, and this is, looks like it's going to be a shimmer shade. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I'm having flashbacks to my uh, ColourPop <laughs> um, uh, Super Shock shadows. That is gorgeous, very, very reflective, very pigmented, very buttery, very creamy. All the things you want from an eyeshadow, a, a shimmer shade not going on there. Okay, next shade we're gonna go into is Safe Word. Ooh, again, very creamy, very pigmented. That's gorgeous. I really like that color. That'd be a great transition color for me in the lid. That's really pretty. I really like that. Next, we're gonna go into Charm, which is a orange shade. Actually, looking at this, it looks like it has slight shimmer in it. Is that correct? Let's see. Yes, it looks like this one has a little bit of sparkle in it. It's definitely not like that high impact shimmer that frosting is though. Yeah, it doesn't come across that much though in the swatch. And um, probably won't as well when you wear it on the lid. But that is gorgeous. I don't know how much I'll wear this. Maybe just for like, you know, fun looks or something. Excuse me. But it is really pretty. I really like that. Next, we're going to go into Deja Vu, which is the other shade that uh, is very, very shimmer. Very, very wow. Very, very buttery and creamy. Oh my gosh. Wow. This one, I feel like has a better formulation than frosting. This one is amazing. Amazing. I love this formulation. I love this color. I love the everything. This is really going great so far. This is this is nice. Okay, now going into this last shade in the top row. Dominatrix? Dominatrix? I don't I don't know. I don't know what it means either. I feel like it could mean something bad based on the other names. These mattes are really impressing me so far. Cause I don't really have as far as mattes go, I don't really have a lot of high-end matte shades, so I've never really seen a matte shade, matte shades like this before. And of course, I'm not like in the makeup industry or whatever, but just hearing from other YouTubers and hearing from people who are in the makeup industry, hearing that I've heard that mattes are harder to formulate, he got it. Jeff knows what he's doing. This is this is a matte that is formulated, and it is good. Yes. All right, going into this first shade in the second row. A namesake of the palette, Androgyny. Again, just an amazing formulated matte shade. I love this color a lot. I'm really into it. Purple, I don't really know what 
specific shade is mauve, but I feel like this would be described as a deep mauve. You can see me using, me, myself, using this shade a lot, so I like that. It's a very usable shade, and it's very pretty, and of course, it's just, again, that very, very nice matte formulation. Okay, next, we're gonna go into Fetish, which is this deep red looking color. Now, looking at this color, it does look like there's a little shimmer in it, like the Charm orange shade did. I don't know if it'll show. Yeah, again, just like Charm, the orange shade. It does not really transfer onto the hand. Not sure about onto the eyelid, but onto the hand, you don't really see the shimmer that you can kind of see, if I'm not mistaken, in the package. Broken record, great formulation, really pretty. Love the pigmentation on these shadows. I'm obsessed and it's beautiful. Yes. Okay, next we're gonna go into the shade Military, which is this army green, hence the name, Military. Again, I just don't see this shade as a wearable shade for me personally. Um, I don't really know how I would use, that was gross, sorry, didn't mean to do that. I don't really know how I would use this shade. I'd probably have to watch some other tutorials and see how other people use this in order to figure out a pretty way to get this on your eyelid without it looking like a swamp mess. Which, if that's what you're going for, this is the perfect shade. But, yeah. Okay, the next shade I'm going to take is Poison. It's the first of these two blue shades. Now, I will say that these two blue shades kind of threw me off and made me not want to buy the palette because looking at it online, I was like, it's two of almost the exact same shade of blue in a palette with only 10 shades. And I was like, huh? But now that I have it, I can see they are very distinctly different. Poison is more of a greenish blue and Swallow is a more vibrant blue. So I can see that now. If you're kind of confused or iffy on it because there is two shades that they do look very similar if you don't have it in person in front of your eyes. Um, but I will say that they are distinctly different and I understand now. I was like, Jeffrey, why you got two same? What, what happened now? But it's all good, I understand. So we're gonna go into Poison now, which is the greener color and it is the first blue shade. This is nicer. This one, if I'm not mistaken, seems to be chalkier than the rest of the mattes. I've been no noticing a very creamy texture amongst the mattes color, mattes colors, but uh, this one seems to be a little chalkier. I don't know if that would affect its blending or not. This one, it's nice, but I don't think it's a complete solid yeah from me. Alrighty, going into the last shade in the palette now, this Swallow shade, which is a vibrant blue color. Ooh, I like this one a lot. I think my hand is getting a little dried out because I am using a makeup wipe in between each swatch and I think it's getting a little dried out. I do think that is the reason for Poison and Swallow coming out chalky. I'm going to say just because with the consistency I'm seeing and the formulation, I don't think that these two would be so far off from the rest. So I am going to blame that on my hand. Here, let me just try these two shades on my other hand, just to be fair. So this one right here is Swallow, this one is Poison. If you want to see them on a hand that is not covered in makeup wipe residue. Yes, I do like the color on Swallow better than Poison. I like this color a lot. It's very, very pretty. It's like an aquatic princess. And yeah, that is all the shades in the palette. Okay, well, I'm just gonna keep this blue all over my hand, mm, whatever. <laughs> I really like this palette. I feel like a majority of these colors I will use and I do love the formulation. The mattes are incredible. I can't remember how much this was. I'll put it on the screen now. I know it was kind of a splurge for me personally because I really buy um, higher end makeup for myself because you know it is expensive and I don't have you know a steady income because I am not working I'm a minor teenager but I do love this palette I'm very very excited I'm glad I bought it for myself which I did buy it for myself using my own money in case you were like she's a spoiled brat no this is mine Jeffrey did say that he tweaked the formulation of his product from his earlier palette, so I don't think I will be purchasing his other palette. I think it's called the Beauty Killer palette because if this one is better than why I get the first one, I don't know. If I'm wrong, if you have the Beauty Killer palette and love it, please let me know down in the comments below and I might end up buying it. But I love this palette from the swatches so far and I'll try out wearing it and maybe I'll 
come back to y'all and tell you a little bit more about the colors in here and how they wear on the eyelids. And that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you liked it. Comment down below if you have anything from Jeffree Star and if you liked it. If you recommend anything else from the line to me, that would be great. And just for everyone else to know what else is great from the brand. And now for my weekly favorites. My top favorite song this week. I haven't really been listening to any like new music, but I did just see Beauty and the Beast today. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So I guess like the soundtrack from Beauty and the Beast, I don't know. And then also I haven't been watching any new YouTubers lately. I haven't watched anyone new. So my top tuber is um, Miranda Sings. <laughs> Someone I've already been watching for millions of years and I'm sure you have as well. But if you haven't seen Miranda Sings, where are you living? Under a rock? So my top two brand, my songs, I guess, of the week will be down below for y'all to check out. Subscribe to this channel for a new video every Saturday, but like for the next couple of months, it'll be kind of whenever, really, because of school. And that is all. See ya.